Hey everyone, this is Ralph, and thanks for coming back to another episode of Sailing Seahawk. Sorry, it's been forever since I posted a video. It's been a long locked down winter, and I just haven't been out on the boat. This is a little bit of footage I took last year. Um, looking forward to starting season two, because summer's just around the corner. Hey guys! Well, I finally got a GoPro with some audio. That's pretty exciting. Um, I've just left Hobsonville Marina. It's the 27th of December. Uh, today I'm heading for Cowell, tomorrow I'm going to go up to Tutukaka uh, or Whangarei thereabouts and then I might go up to Pai here, going you know, up to the Bay of Islands. 15 to 20, the autopilot's working! So I'm actually really looking forward to this sail. So we're just going past North Head, we've got 21 knots at the moment, coming, it's coming right over here so by the time I go around the corner it's going to be right on my beam. 22, 23 knots. Saying goodbye to Auckland City. See you in a month. Rangi Toto in front of us. You guys can actually hear what I'm saying. It's exciting. Well, I should check. Fuck, who knows? But yeah, here we go. It's gonna be mint. I've got one reef in. I've got one reef in because I think, I don't know if I've got quite a big mainsail, but I just find it really hard to once there's a decent wind to balance it, the, the, it just keeps on wanting to turn me up into the wind and big gusts. So I'm trying a single reef. We'll see how we go. All right, hey, the time is so we're rounding North Head. It's, it's five to three, so it's gonna be three o'clock as we come around the corner. And then see how long it takes us to get to Cowell. What a midday. Pilot's doing its job. So far, so good. Some good pace. We're um, just coming up on Whangaparaa Peninsula. There's the map. Um, the cargo ship over there. It's a pretty blustery day. We can see the water very well. You can never see it on camera. But yeah, some pretty solid gusts coming through 24s, 25s, sitting pretty solidly around 20. Um, We've been kind of cruising seven knots, you know, between seven and kind of just getting over eight from time to time. She's a slow old girl, but we'll get there, you know. Maybe someday when I'm grown older. I can see it all clear from above. Looking back on it all. Maybe I can see what was broken. the sort of day you want to bring the kids out but I'm having a ball looking back on it all maybe I can see what was broken
we had been tracking along really well since leaving Auckland. Uh, I'd had about 20 knots or so and we'd been getting 7.5 to 8 knots out of the boat which was great. Um, I had a single reef in the main and the jib was filled up a little bit. Uh, as we got further closer towards Cowell, the wind picked up and was getting to 25 knots plus so I decided to put a second reef in the main for the first time. Um, I had been a bit lazy and only run a lifeline on the on the starboard side of the boat so when I went up I tied myself off to the to the side stay. Um, I think going up on the windward side was the right idea because you kind of fall into the mast but uh, not being lazy and not putting lifelines up both sides was you know a bit silly because it when tying off there just made it all a bit awkward. Uh, but it didn't go too badly and yeah you live and you learn. Five to seven, so it's just after six thirty. Monocord Harbour in there. It's been three and a half hours from uh, North End to here. That's good. I'm happy with that with my slow old girl. Matthew's finally back up in the cockpit. Get up and uh, drop some sails. Get in. Man, that was a fun trip up the coast. I'm really looking forward to getting back up there again this summer. Sorry it's been so long guys, again thanks for tuning in, uh, hopefully it won't be so long until the next video. The next video, uh, I thought I'd just keep this, like split this trip up and keep these videos uh, short and sharp. The next one's going to be going from Kawao up to Tutakaka, uh, where I try and wash my outboard, you'll see what I mean. But till then, thanks for tuning in, uh, take care guys, we'll see you next time.